जय जिनेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ज्ञान मार्गना टुडे द ज्ञान मार्गना इज ऑफ एट खाइंस एंड द ज्ञान एक्चुअली मीन्स द नोइंगनेस स्टेट ऑफ द सोल द सोल हैज इट्स कंप्लीट नोइंगनेस स्टेट एब्सोल्यूट नोइंगनेस स्टेट विद इन इट सेल्फ हाउ एवर इट गेट्स क्लाउडेड बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सर्टन काइंड ऑफ जे के पीज विच इज ज्ञान कर्मा पार्टिकल्स एंड दीज पार्टिकल्स ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट द एब्सोल्यूट नोइंगनेस स्टेट ऑफ द सोल and that is the reason that there are eight different kinds of knowingness state based on their limited perception now when the living beings are of two kinds if we say um, in a very general statement that the beings who have false perception who don't perceive the reality the way it is and they're restricted by their bodies and their limited senses in order to perceive the reality they live in a false perception zone then there are beings who have taken the effort to convert their false perception into clarity and now they are living in a state of being where they have clarity and they know what is the truth about the world they know the reality in its truest sense so the first three gyan margana has the ku word in front of it which means it has these knowingness states along with the false perceptions and the next three are the margana which do not have a ku which means their knowingness state is not reversed it is in its authentic state and it is with the clarity so the first one second one and the third one are known as kumate gnan kushrut gnan and ku avadhi gnan and the next three are known as mate gnan shrut gnan and avadhi gnan so let's see what is ku mate gnan when a being perceives information with the help of its five senses it could be one sensed organism it could be two sensed organisms three sensed organism four sensed organism but the the way the information is absorbed and applied is with the help of these senses a person a being can also have a man at this time but what is really required are the five senses which becomes their uh, base for the absorption of the information or applying of the <coughs> knowingness so this is these are the beings who mostly live at the basis of very instincts very basic instincts like food shelter and breathing so these are the very basic things that they live their life throughout their life with so this is ku mate gnan which requires five senses man and because of the false perception it is the knowingness is reversed they don't have a clear perception of the reality now comes the ku shrut gnan the ku shrut gnan is about shrut shrut means absorption of the information which is being said in between the lines it is like understanding the right the real matter behind what has been said and then applying it in a very conscious way in a very mindful way in order to learn things and in order to um change our own lives or apply it to the way we live our life so the kushrut gnan however also needs the support of the five senses as well as man is really required in this case and because of the presence of false perception this kind these kind of beings have ku shrut gnan then comes the ku av dignan the ku av dignan is about intuition they don't really require the five senses however with the help of just intuition they can absorb information and they can relate a lot of things but it is also limited because it is limited to it could be limited to a few days it could be limited to a, a few years so for example i have a fidget spinner here exactly where was this built uh, and where is it coming from how long did it take to build a piece like that and from now from my hand where it will go um so this kind of perception or knowingness which is the ku av dignan does not really is um obstructed by the physical senses world but a person absorbs and knows about the particular object based on its intuition based on its man and it is also known as a direct source of knowingness now it is ku because again what is being absorbed is of the false perception kind and the person stays in the false perception and uses its intuition to know about certain things 
then comes the clarity when a person takes the effort to reach from the false perception to a clarity state which is the fourth level of purity it is at this state that the matignan comes into evidence and when, with the matignan again is possible only with the beings who have one who have five senses and man which is a very much requirement for this and clarity for the shudnan you need man and the five senses also and the man is helping them absorb information but the right kind of information because of the presence of clarity and the real application in order to modify and change um, and bring their uh, soul to the level of um, purity it is a very basic requirement state if you want to uh, reach higher and higher in the steps of purity then comes the abdignan abdignan again is a gnan which is not limited by the senses it is absorbed a direct information absorbed with the help of man also known as intuition or telepathy and you can have information about lot of things for example if i am an abdignani person and a person comes and asks me what was my past birth about i can answer easily that your past birth you were this kind of being and this is what you did and now you are here and you might go in the next birth to here so they may know about a few past and future lifetimes and uh, because it is not inhibited by our five senses they are directly um, sourcing the information with the help of their man then comes the seventh kind of knowingness which is the gnan margna which is manaha paray gnan this kind of knowingness is possible only to a muni maharaj ji who is at the 6th um, 7th uh, uh, level of consciousness of the steps of purity and again for this you don't require senses it is directly um, state of knowingness with the help of man and the this person this muni maharaj ji is able to know the information which is in your mind they can read your mind they can exactly um uh, know about the things that you have thought or the things that you have um you are on the way of thinking they can absorb that information and can tell you so the difference between the manha paregnan and the avdignan is the avdignan can only know about the um uh, about the object world however matignan can know about the state of um thoughts and the feelings that can be read so it is a very subtle and very very um uh, very very uh, uh higher kind of knowingness which is possible only because of the, um the kind of lifestyle amuni maharaj ji has where he is living a completely conscious and mindful life and that's when this kind of knowingness come into uh, appearance again clarity is a must is the basic thing for the manaha paregnan now the last gnan is the keval gnan the keval gnan is actually the absolute uh, knowingness state of the soul and this state of the soul is uh, our own uh, inner attribute it is our own quality and this is the quality that actually gets um, clouded by the different uh, jkps so this is the absolute complete knowingness state of the soul so let's see how these are applied on the steps of purity so the kumati gnan kushud gnan and ku avdignan these three kind of gnans are possible only on the first and the second levels of purity because a person is in the false perception zone now when the person jumps from the first to the fourth level of perception uh, con- consciousness of purity then comes the clarity kind of matignan shudnan and abdignan to appear so they stay with the being from the fourth level of consciousness to up to the 12th level of purity and then the mara mana paregnan however begins only at the 6th level of purity and it stays with the muni maharaj ji up to the 12th level of purity now keval gnan is a gnan which is possible only at the arihant state so when a being turns into finally an arihant which is the 13th level of purity and then finally into goes with this knowingness state which is keval gnan up to the uh, siddha state where he is in a bodiless state and completely pure soul so the keval gnan stays with the being from the 13th to the 14th step of purity once all the jkps have completely been uh, disintegrated so kindly read and revise very nicely all the eight kinds of gnan margana and we can discuss the next margana very soon thank you